you know what? You know who would be best to help clarify the situation and maybe make it more understandable uh, for um, us non-illegal folks? They don't let cheeseburgers into stand for law. <laughs> I tried. Let's bring up the old Twitter feed from Shelly. His real name is Larry Zerner. Go ahead and read this. Together. There we go. With the announcement by Friday the 13th game that they won't be adding new content to the game because of ongoing lawsuit, ongoing lawsuit, ding, between Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller, I've seen a lot of people dragging Victor online as if this is his fault. It's not. The Copyright Act includes a provision that states that an author can terminate any transfer he or she has made after 35 years. Congress added this provision to allow creators, writers, songwriters, etc., who sold their rights cheap to have a second chance. In the case of Victor Miller, he was originally paid about $9,500 for the original Friday the 13th script, which turned into 12 movies, a very successful video game, not the NES version and lots of Jason Voorhees merchandise. So this franchise Victor helped create made hundreds of millions of dollars. But Victor was not entitled to any of that money. Victor did what the Copyright Act allowed him to do. He sent a notice of termination to Sean, giving Sean two years notice of the termination, which would occur in June 2018. Holy shit, that's now. The way it usually works in these cases is that the producer and the terminating writer will then have the two-year period to work out a deal on how the money will be split on future projects. Termination does not affect movies already completed. That's important. But Sean and Victor would need to make a deal because the termination only affects the Friday the 13th U.S. rights. Because of the quirks of copyright law, even after termination, Sean would still own the rights outside the U.S. The U.S. is the United States. But instead of making a deal, Sean sued Victor. Sean Cunningham sued Victor. Claiming that the agreement that Victor signed in 1979, not the Smashing Pumpkins song, but the date, 1979, is not terminable. And the fact is that this is a very new area of law. So there is not a lot of guidance for judges on who is right. Both sides have very capable lawyers who are arguing the case. One of the problem is that although both sides argued motions for summary judgments last October 2017, the judge in the case still hasn't ruled. The judge in the case, believed Bandit, still hasn't ruled. This has really slowed things down. I'm sure that everyone involved believed that there would be a trial long before the termination occurred, which would have prevented us from getting to the point we're at right now. I know it's frustrating for the fans who want more movies and more content, but to blame it all on Victor is unfair. I really hope that the two can work it out and there can be more Friday the 13th content as soon as possible. End. <laughs> 